I found a way to avoid painting my woodenware on my honeybee colonies. It's easy to apply and it lasts longer than painting. I'm Rob from Dowdle Family Farms and I started keeping honeybees about five years ago. Over the last three or four years, I've been painting my woodenware and I'm telling you, I despise painting. I really don't like the fact that when you paint it, you have to go back and repaint it a couple years later and you have to scrape and sand and all that kind of stuff. I just don't like painting. I abhor painting. Have I mentioned how much I don't like painting? A couple years ago, I tried two different alternative methods of preserving my woodenware on my honeybee hives. The first, I used an outdoor wood stain and I like it. It's worked out pretty well. It's not quite as easy as the second one, but I think it's much better than painting. The second one that I've done is by far my favorite and it's uh, eco wood treatment. And that is what I'm gonna talk about today in this video. What I started using two years ago is a product called eco wood treatment. And this is the thing that I really like. Now they say that it's more environmentally friendly and all that kind of stuff. And while environmental friendly and non-toxic and all that is important to me, uh, it's also uh, ease of application and use and its effectiveness is also important. So what I've started doing is using uh, this eco wood treatment. It comes in a little package that's just a few ounces of dry granules. You mix it with one gallon or five gallons of water, depending on which size package that you get. And then uh, you just stick it on to the woodenware. I, honestly, the first time I used it, I thought it was crazy and I was afraid I'd ruined a bunch of woodenware. But uh, what I found is it looks like you're just applying a little thin coat of water on it. But what happens is it starts to develop some kind of patina something as a result of oxidation i guess it's called patina and it starts getting darker this box right here that i'm using to rest my equipment on was solid white this morning you couldn't even tell that it had been treated and now it looks like it's been uh, darkened and, or aged for several days or weeks uh, so that's um, what it starts to do i've got another box somewhere that's a much darker box that I'll try to find for you if I can. Um, you don't get the typical white beehive box uh, in my area, that's okay. I don't, I'm not trying to go for great color statements on my honey beehives. I'm trying to find something that's easy to apply, lasts a while and works and is functional. So I also started using Cypress woodenware. This is Cypress right here. Um, I get it. I think it's manufactured in Mississippi, but there's a pickup point, Foxhound Bee Supply. Uh, they're online, foxhoundbeesupply.com, I believe. You can order them. Um, and if you pick them up, they were just about $2 or so per hive body more expensive than the uh, commercial grade uh, pine woodenware from Man Lake. Now, I did have to go pick it up in Birmingham. That's about a two hour drive from here, um, but I think it was worth it for this Cypress bee equipment. Cypress is supposed to be uh, a little bit more rot resistant. Uh, interestingly enough, cedar is as well. However, cedar is extremely expensive uh, because it's aromatic and people use it for uh, some decorative stuff in their homes. Now, I mixed five gallons of this eco wood treatment in this bucket uh, several months back. In the ideal world, it would have been in a sealed bucket. You can tell that it's kind of reddish, brownish, orangish. Now, applying this stuff is pretty easy. I've got just a blue shop towel uh, in my hands, just some tough shop towels, and I just rub it over the bare wood. Now, I'll take places like the handles and areas where you see a little bit more ingrain and I try to make sure that they get a lot more uh, treatment than than the rest of the side of the wood. Uh, again, the ingrain I think is the most important just like any other application. But you just rub it on and it works really, really well. Um, it comes in a package that's you just mix with water 
stir it up and put it on with a towel like this. I mean, I can't tell you how easy this is. It should be pretty obvious uh, by the way you're watching me apply it here. Now, there's a funny little story about the last time we tried painting some beehive equipment, and I'll tell you about that as well. I watched a YouTube video that Bob Benny produced talking about how they use oil-based paint, and it's much better. So I remember thinking that Bob Benny says that oil-based paint is better. I'll just try it. Well, I had a buddy, Bubba, y'all know him. He was helping me with something. And he said, yeah, you can use oil-based paint. I said, why don't people use it? He said, it's just a little harder to clean up. I thought, well, I'd rather spend a little bit more hassle cleaning it up. After all, I can just throw the brushes away. And uh, <clears throat> so I got the oil-based paint. It wasn't more expensive. I just got some cheap outdoor old base paint from a local hardware store that was and uh my two youngest daughters were with me sophia and charlotte and they love painting the hives at least for a little bit they love painting the hive body so we got it done we got it knocked out and we started to clean up i said all right y'all let's go wash off with a water hose and i to be honest with you i wasn't watching them a whole lot as they were painting i painted some but i was also assembling equipment while they were painting it and I'd come back and double check just to make sure that they you know got good two or three good coats of paint and primer and, and all on the hives every now and then I heard something about paint fight I said no y'all no paint fights and uh, by the time it was time to clean up we went over to the water hose where we normally wash the paint off and that's when I remembered that we had gotten oil-based paint. Some of y'all may know the best stuff to get oil-based paint off. Mineral spirits, gasoline, diesel, WD-40. I googled how to get it out of a six-year-old's hair and I came up with stuff like don't let a six-year-old play in oil-based paint and I would agree with that sentiment but man, we got old base paint everywhere. So we tried mayonnaise. I don't know why we heard mayonnaise was good. But all that to say, don't matter how long it lasts, doesn't matter how cheap it is, doesn't matter how easy it is, I'm not going to be using old base paint for my beehives again. So this is the third season I've used this eco wood treatment. I've also used an outdoor wood stain. I try to use a lighter color. And I've been real pleased with it as well. It is not quite as easy as the eco wood treatment, but compared to painting, it is so much easier. I think the thing that I really like about this eco wood treatment and the outdoor stains is that it allows the wood to breathe much easier. With paint, the paint kind of on the outside of the hive just keeps the hive from breathing quite as well, I think. And I'm wondering, I may be wrong, but it makes me wonder if that's part of the reason the hives decay as they do. So all that to say, the eco wood treatment works really, really well for me. Uh, this is what it looks like in the package when you purchase. I'll put an affiliate link in the description below if you want to order it. It's about $15 to $20 for a thing that treats one gallon of water. I'm not paid by this producer of eco wood treatment. Uh, I do get a small commission if you purchase from Amazon, but that's true with any Amazon link that I have. But this is something that for me has just been a game changer. Now, let me also say I've only used it now for two winters. Uh, I'm going into my third year using the eco wood treatment. Just know that I don't have a long history of using it, but I do like it so far. If I had my preferences, I would probably wax dip my hives, but I don't have the volume of material that I need, nor do I have the tanks, and there's not any one close by that does that right now. I think that the eco wood treatment, though, uh, is probably second best to the wax dip hives. Uh, but again, um, it is so much easier and it helps the uh, wooden wear last so much longer. And I think it works a lot better than painting. Although I'm not a painter and I may not be painting everything quite as well, it's certainly a lot easier and the wood has held up quite well for me.
So the combination of this wood treatment and using the Cypress Hive body seems to be working out quite well. It's getting dark and I'm going to wrap this video up, but leave a comment in the description below about what you use to treat your wooden ware on your beehives. Uh, do you wax dip your hives? Do you use latex based paint, oil based paint? Do you stain your hives? Or do you just use the bare wood? If you paint, do you go back and scrape and repaint every two, three, four, five, six years? Let me know about that as well. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon.